Exactly three films, Greed, Harvest, and Line Light, are shown during a film club festival held on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Each film is shown as at least once during the festival, but never more than once on a given day. On each day, at least one film is shown. Films are shown one at a time. The following conditions apply. After completing all the logic games and reading this one, one thing that I remember, this is one of the logic games that I completed in the beginning when I was first studying and preparing for the LSAT. So this would be actually one of the what, one out of the first four that I started off with. And after completing all the logic games and coming back to this one, it kind of uh, makes me remember where I was at. And a lot of information may sound confusing. But to make it more simple, I decided to make this video that hopefully is going to help out with the information as far as being able to use it as a common logic game. And what I like to do is just start off with the first letters G. H and L. What that does is takes the place of the film's name, Greed, Harvest, and Limelight. So instead of like writing the whole entire name down, you just want to write the first letter. They say it's going to be held on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If it's kind of confusing to see how that is lined up or how it's structured, just go ahead and look at the uh, choices what I like to do. And it kind of has an order, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, or Thursday being the beginning, Saturday being at the end, Friday in the middle. So with that, I'm going to put Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, it did say that the films are going to be shown what you considered uh, once, at least once. So you will have to see these three uh, variables, G, H, and L, at least once. The way that I save time and speed up the logic games is by simply reading the first condition and then applying it to the rules right away. For example, on Thursday, H is shown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look for Thursday and I'm going to see if H is shown. If I see that Thursday does not have H, then I'm going to remove it. And no film is shown after on that day so no film can be after H and if you look at choice D there is a film shown after H so just go ahead and remove it the way that I would write down that this variable it's gonna be Thursday and we're gonna make sure that H is at the end So Thursday it's going to have H and I'm just going to put an X right there just symbolizing that Thursday is going to be the last spot. Continue on. On Friday either G or L but not both is showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look for Friday and see if they have both. On Friday choice B does have both so I'm going to go ahead and eliminate it. And also Friday has a film after it so all I'm gonna do is make sure that there's not a lot of film to be after it and no film is shown after it on that day so basically they can't be a film on either L or G so there is a film on choice E so just go ahead and press elimination eliminate aid it and this will bring you down to two options now between A and C so we have one condition here and we're hoping that this condition is going to separate the one that um, would sh show us. And for, since we already got down to uh, two options, let's go ahead and make sure we write down that variable or that condition I should be saying. So on Friday, it's going to have to be between what you consider G or L and it can't be both. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and cross out G and L. And when I cross it out, I'm going to go ahead 
and just put down right away down here that it's either going to be between G or L, but not where you consider both. And if that G is not okay, I'm going to go ahead and just make that G a little bit sharper by filling it in right now. So that looks a whole lot better. So G or L. Separate the first condition. This is going to be the first condition. Number one. This is going to be the second condition. Condition number three. On Saturday, either G or H, but not both. So I'm going to look for Saturday. H. On Saturday, it has G. And no film is shown after it on that day. So I'm going to see where there's a film after it. None. So both of these options right here, choice A and choice C, do meet these conditions right here. Let me see the stuff that's highlighted right now. G, H, and L are in the films. Each film is shown at least once. So basically that means that each film is shown at least once. So either you guys see G, H, or L. So starting with choice C here. G, I see here. H, I see here. L, I see here. So that meets the conditions. On choice E, I don't see G, I do see L and A, so go ahead and remove it. And with some logic games out there, this one, you're going to have to pay attention when you see the stimulus, because you're going to have to refer to it. And this leaves it with the process of elimination, known as P-O-A, E, I'm sorry, P-O-E. And the P stands for process, O stands for of, E stands for elimination. Go ahead and cho choose choice C. And if you're worried about also with this method called process of elimination, if this is the correct answer, one way to verify it is by simply making sure that it follows the conditions. So on Thursday, H is shown. You have H shown, no other film shown after it. That meets the condition. On Friday, G is shown. Or L, and no other film showing. So you see on Thursday, on Friday, it does have L and no other film after it. On Saturday, either G or H, but not both, and no other film showing after it. So this choice right here, C, does meet the standard with this condition, and also process of elimination gives you that answer. So this is kind of consider a interdisciplinary approach and for those of you guys who don't know what interdisciplinary approach means interdisciplinary involves using two sources to solve a single problem so the two sources are you going to be using are going to be considered a method and the two methods to solve the single problem here is you're going to be using one method known as a process elimination and the second method is by using that final answer that you came up with to apply the conditions, meaning that you're going to have to verify these rules do meet the standards of this option or this option do meet the standards of these rules, which we just did. So that was two ways you can go by solving the correct answer. Let's see if we are correct. Answer choice C is the correct answer. And one thing that I want you guys to do whenever you get the correct answer is go ahead and copy it down as quickly and neatly as po possible because with this one you will be able to utilize and refer back to for any questions that involve this logic game and the reason why you want to copy this down as well because this is a correct answer piece and since it is correct you're going to want to use this as much as possible to go ahead and solve for the remainder I hope this helps you out if this video did help you out please subscribe so I can continue making more